everyone knows that British soldiers are the best in the world. Just kidding, it's the Americans. Or are they? For years, we've compared guns and gear, but today, we compare guts and grit. Soldiers, front and center. These are no ordinary soldiers. They're paratroopers, each with world records in various disciplines. In order to push them to their limits, I've comprised a list of the most brutal workouts known to man. And I can promise you, by the end of this video, one of them is going to crack. Ah! I'm done. This sucks, man. Oh. We're starting off with the Murph, which in itself is enough to crush most people. Ready? Go! Uh, my name is Mark Bernardo. I am a Sergeant Major in the United States Army. I'm here to compete against our British counterparts to show them that we as Americans have a little bit more grit. America in the lead so far. British shortly following up. I'm Farron Morgan. I'm a former British Army soldier. I was a King's Guard, Queen's Guard, paratrooper. I think I have the edge on him. And he's American. I'm British. We run harder. We're better looking and we always train better. The Murph is a hero workout named after Lieutenant Michael Murphy. It is a mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups and 300 air squats and another mile run, all done in a 20 pound vest. Today these gentlemen are running seven laps around this building. All the calisthenics will be done outside and then they'll run another seven laps to complete the Murph. From there we go into a six mile rug, which is enough to make anybody quit, but not these soldiers. Had a little fighting action going on. After the ruck, we're going to put them through the Bulger, which is basically the British version of the Murph. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. That's enough. No, it's not. Not for these guys. After all that, we're going to hit them with a series of max rep fitness events till failure. And after all that, we're going straight to the cemetery. The cemetery? Why the cemetery? Because my camera guy's going to be dead. You're going to have to help me bury him. Way to go, guys. Farron has pulled ahead. UK is in the lead. Come on, don't let him catch you, Mark. I heard them strategizing early. They said they were gonna try to stay together on the mile, but they still have 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 air squats to go. And then another mile run, all done with a weight vest. And that's just the first event. I believe that I'm not gonna stop until Farron stops. That's just my mentality. I am not going to be the first man who drops. I'm going to be the last man standing. That's what we do as US paratroopers. Bring it on in. Seven minutes, 39 seconds with a 20 pound weight vest. Starting the pull-ups, starting the pull-ups. Both gentlemen, very very even. There we go. Mark on the bar first and Farron. So they will be doing 20 sets of 5, 10, 15. This is partitioned. Mark done with his set first. Then Farron. Good reps. Good reps, gentlemen. Mark is a beast flying through it. Make sure you're at least breaking 90 on the squats. Good squats, Farron. They're marking each set on the board after they complete. Mark going for his second set. Farron going for his second set. Lock out. Cheating. I've seen your squats halfway down. I just got to squat enough to fit in my parachute. I break parallel. Here's an interesting fact that I just found out. Less than half my audience is from the United States. So you guys watching out there, I want to know who you're cheering for, America or British? Let me know in the comments. It's something I really want to know. So far, Mark is one ahead of Farron. However, the next event is Farron's specialty. Farron is a rucker. I know in America, you like calling it rucking, but we call it tabbing, which is a tactical advance to battle. We'll have the viewers judge y'all's reps. To me, they look good, but you guys let me know in the comments, how do you feel about their repetitions? Let them judge. Mark, you do them Murph every year? I do. How many times a year? I try to do it once a week. Once a week? Once a week? You're mad. Ah! You think him doing a Murph once a week, he'd be quicker than this. It's very rare that we do full hero wise like this. This is a full, full day of competing. These gentlemen are going to be absolute burned down to the core after this day is finished. I expect a steak dinner. I got you. Mark completing eight. Farron completing six. You know you want America to win. I need you oh, to of course. Um, should I erase one of his scores? No, 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 no. Not to say over here. Farron, how you feeling? Same way I look. Sexy. Sexy? Yeah. We've never done a workout this long, so it's kind of, I'm just sitting here like. Ah. What is the weather here today? Huh? What is the weather? The weather. What's the weather? How hot? 76 degrees. Oh. Fahrenheit. Hot. Are you blaming it on the weather? Yes. What's the temperature in the UK? Hot as this. That's cold. You're falling behind a little bit. I need a little bit. One thing that you got to remember about a paratrooper, paratroopers never die. You just slip away. Guys, if you're a paratrooper out there, let us know in the comments. Myself and Mark would love to hear from you. Mark's push-ups are perfect. Farron completing 10, going for the 11th. Mark completing 15, going for the 16th set. Every set, they do five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 squats. A lot of people out there think you have to be this fit in order to get out there and work out. Uh -huh. But you don't. I 100% agree. People think that the military, we need you to come in super fit, but we don't. At the end, we just need you to have this and this. We'll work the rest. You got the grit, you got the heart, you got the discipline, the motivation. You can do anything. The goal is to just start. Put your hand here. Put your hand up on my head. When I dip, you dip, we dip. That's 13. There you go. 14. 
<laughs> oh, he assisted him. Comments. That's cheating. He helped him with the squats. It's moist over here, gentlemen. Very sweaty. It's fun when you're training with your brothers. I'm training my brother from overseas. That's right. It's a shame that he beat me. He's struggling to work out. Get a brother, get a friend. Yes. Get out there and do something. Get moving. Aaron, I wouldn't be pushing this hard, man, if it wasn't for you, brother. Shit, man. For real. I'm dead serious, man. I ain't saying this because of the video. So this is barely the first brutal event today. We have four events remaining. Mark has the advantage here because he does the Murph about once every week. Next event is the six mile ruck. Farron has the advantage here because he's a rucker. How are you feeling, Mark? I like the spirit. I like the attitude. If it was easy, they'd have probably somebody else do it. Maybe the Navy. Shots fired, shots fired. Shots fired again. Was it firing at me? Mark finishes the calisthenics at 34-39 and bolts off for his run. So far, he's into the first lap. Looks like it's gonna be looking good for the Americans so far. First event. Let's go, Mark. Looking good, looking clean, looking like a champion. Finishing the first, going for the second. Mark did not come to play today for America. British is playing. America not playing. <sighs> So as y'all know, I love taking on all types of challenges. And I've talked to Farron earlier, and if this video hits 72,000 likes, I will fly over to the UK and try British Army. It's been requested for the longest time, but we need 72,000 likes or more on this video. Hit the like button. Please help me out. Help us get there. I wanna go. Mark finishing up number two, going for number three. I don't even think Farron's gonna make it out here to his run. Come on, Farron. He's cheering you on. <laughs> Farron has five rounds left before he starts the run out here. Mark has taken a significant lead over Farron in the first event, but we still have four events left and it's gonna get brutal. <sighs> Farron, how are you making it? It's a tough one, huh? Yeah. Pull-ups are still really good though. Chin above the bar, all the way locking out. Mark coming in to complete the Murph. 46 minutes, five seconds. Mark. Finishing the Murph. Farron heading out for the run. Farron, first lap complete, going in for the second. Each soldier today will finish each workout because we don't leave anything unfinished, okay? We finish. Farron finishing up his fourth lap, going for number five. Mark, congrats, how do you feel? I feel good, my watch says otherwise. You do Murph pretty frequently. Do you know your fastest time ever? No, I just, I'm really big into the Murph because one, what it stands for, Lieutenant Michael Murphy, it's, it's about remembering kind of the sacrifice. And so the times, I don't really try to pay attention to those. Congrats on the first event. We saw four more. Be ready. Always ready. Always ready. That's a Navy thing. You get that from the Navy. So you didn't get that. That's an airborne. All okay, jump. I'm not, you know, the I'm aircraft. Not, I'm not airborne. Uh, yeah, ready the aircraft. Get ready. 10 minutes. Outboard personnel. Stand up. I'm a boat guy. I don't, I don't know anything about planes. Farron finishing the last lap of the mile coming in. 53 minutes. 33 seconds. I love the camaraderie. In a, in a minute, they're, they're going to kiss and it's going to be great. Farron, how you feeling? Very tough little workout. Great hero, Wad. Great workout. Very hot, very tough. We've got it smashed. Great effort, gentlemen. All right, y'all, event number two, this is a six mile ruck. Rucking is widely used worldwide in the military as a mental mindset test. All right, y'all, event number two, this is a six mile ruck. 35 pounds on the back, you'll go three miles out, you turn around and come back, first one back here wins. We have a little bit of terrain, a little bit of elevation, but I know you guys are used to that. You ready? Hell yeah. Three, two, one, go. Six miles. I'm gonna be pacing it out with him. It's gonna be fun. I could use a good run. Mark has taken off the six miles. There's gonna be some pacing involved and some strategy. While these gentlemen ruck it out, I wanna introduce you to something that has completely changed the way that I enjoy meals at home. ButcherBox, the sponsor of this video. ButcherBox is a monthly subscription service delivering high quality, sustainably sourced proteins right to your door. From grass fed beef to wild caught seafood. It's everything you need to elevate your meals. Farron is a master rucker or a tabber. Hey tabby oh, master tabby. Mark took the first event. Can he take this event? Mark, how you feeling? A little tired, especially from that Murph. We're quarter mile in. We're looking good. We only got three miles. Baron is in the background. Do you think you can keep this pace the whole time? We'll see. Ultimately, in the end, it's about just giving it your best. It's all anybody ever asks. Baron very shortly behind. Not a big lead from Mark. This road is terrible. Yes, it is. So Mark, let's talk about your world record. A long time ago. You had the fastest marathon wearing a gas mask. Do you still have that world record? Someone beat it. You got fastest half marathon wearing a gas mask. Yeah, I did. Same guy who beat my full, beat my yeah. Dang. It's okay though. It was never about the record. It was really about bringing awareness to the fallen of the United States military. It's a marathon, not a sprint, baby. Now let's go catch up with Farron and talk about why ButcherBox is such a good idea. Not only do they deliver premium meats like ribeyes, New York strips, and filet mignons, but they're also committed to ethical and sustainable sourcing. No hormones, no antibiotics, so you can feel good about what you're feeding your family. And let's be honest, there's nothing better than coming home to a freshly cooked steak after a workout like this. How are we feeling, Farron? I'm running a good pace around a 9.15 miles with 35 pounds, that's good, but Debo's 
just taken off a little bit. And you're maybe like 100 yards behind him. We'll see over the distance if my strategy works out or not, you know? So let's talk about your world record. I've got a couple of Guinness World Records carrying weight. And I'll be honest with you, I didn't even train for those. I just went and did it on the back of my normal training regimen. I'm trying to show the youth of today, show my family, show myself that anything's possible with some hard work. The first record that I set was 10 kilometers with 60 pounds. And the second record that I did was half marathon carrying 120 pounds. Golly. That was to help a, a friend who had cancer. Uh -huh. So I was trying to raise some money to try and keep him alive. We're coming up on a mile and a half. Mark is just slightly ahead. Yeah, he's jetting off. You can definitely sneak up on him. Yeah, 100%. It's damn hot. Yeah, it's, out here it's very in this desert. It's very hot. We don't want this heat. I want to bring the heat. How is the heat affecting your performance? I'm struggling to take in air. My skin's burning. It's now just a mind battle. Obviously, the main aim is to win. So we're just going to challenge it. Try and take on that yank up there. He's got the lead on me. This guy's fit as hell. Where did you find him? You know, at the end of your videos, you say, hey, go ahead and apply. And I said, you know, why not? And I really didn't think anything of it. Next thing you know, I get this random text message from some guy named Austin at two o'clock in the morning. I'm on the East Coast. And he says, hey, I want to know if you want to do this. It would be in the next two to three days. I wasn't prepared for that text. I kind of thought it was spam anyway, so I ignored it. And then I get a phone call from you and you're like, hey, I want to know if you want to do this. You're like, this ain't Austin. And I was like, what do you mean? Oh yeah. I was like, do you mean FaceTime you? And you're like, yeah. I turn on FaceTime you're like, no way. It was such a shocker because you gotta understand when you're this guy in the middle of nowhere, America, you never really think that someone else is reaching out to you for you to reach out. It's pretty cool. His story could be your story. Click the link in the description and apply to me in a video. Oh, it's Hill. Oh man, you picked a good course. We're out here at Proctor Valley Road, East Lake, California. About 80 degrees. We're 2.4 miles in. You've been in the Army for 22 years. You joined when you were 18? I did. It was because of 9-11. I went to my recruiter. I said, I want to be a soldier. I'm going to fight. He told me, son, you're just what we're looking for. Being a paratrooper, there's just something about it, man. In order to be a soft operator, you got to be a paratrooper first. So being a paratrooper, literally, it's the foundation of what grit really is. All right, we're turning around, y'all. We hit three miles. You beast. I know, but I go to war with you any day, brother. Baron's drenched, just past the halfway, just turned around. It's damn hot out here. What are you doing to me with this weather? Well, it is hot out here. Where's my Fiji water? Where's my producer? Where's my butcher box? Butcher box is delivered straight to your door. Freezer ready and perfect for any meal, whether it's a quick weeknight dinner or a special occasion. And they're offering an incredible deal right now. New users get their choice of filet mignon, ribeye, and New York strip. Free in every box for a whole year. So you said you were looking forward to the rope climbs. No, I'm not. Which is the last event. I don't do rope climbs in my training, so I'm not looking forward to that. You ever done a rope climb? Yeah, I've done a rope climb before, but I wouldn't say I'm a, an expert. All right, y'all, we're back here with Mark. We're 4.7 miles in. Mark, how you feeling? You know, putting these things back to back to back is uh, a little bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be. Wearing you down a little bit. This is what this challenge is about. It's never really about the fitness because I'm telling you, someone I know is bigger, faster, stronger than me out there. It's just really about showing the mental grit of a paratrooper, whether it be from the United States or from our allied partners in the UK. This is our second event. We have three events left. You guys are not going to want to miss it. Farron could come back with an upset. The Bulger is a British workout. Quarter of a mile left. Oh, that hill. Yeah, one last hill. You picked a doozy, man. All right, Mark coming in for the six mile ruck. One hour, two and a half minutes, six miles. Wow, that was quick. How you feel, Mark? Ah, uh, this sucks, man. That was challenging, I wasn't expecting that. I think I went too hard in the Murph. All right, we're gonna let you rest up a little bit, catch up with Farron, and then talk a little bit more about Butcher Box. Let's go. Butcher Box proteins are sustainably sourced, humanely raised, and packed full of nutrients to help fuel your goals. Now is your chance to try it for yourself. Click my link in the description, get free premium steaks for a year, plus an exclusive discount on your first box. But hurry, this offer doesn't last long. I'm coming, Farron. All right, Farron, less than one mile to go. What's going through your head? How are you holding up? This is where it matters, this is where it counts. I'm turning up, I'm getting it done. So for you, is this competition over yet? The competition's never over. I'm a very driven man. If you told me we had 10 workouts i put in a hundred percent into those 10 workouts win or lose i don't want a participation medal i win i win i lose i lose uh -huh. that's it almost there farron let's go farron yeah, yeah, yeah. completes the six mile ruck ah both gentlemen complete 82 minutes for farron 63 minutes for mark very good job gentlemen that is not an easy rug, especially after a full Murph. The next event is gonna be Bulger. We're gonna give these guys a few minutes to rest and hydrate. Then event number three, coming up. This next race is mine. 100%, I'm taking it, it's for me. On a scale of one to 10, how tired are you right now? <laughs> Don't tell Farron, but on a scale of one to 10, I'm probably like maybe a four. I'm not that tired. Event number three is a Bulger workout. This is a British hero wad, similar to the Murph being American hero wad. How you feeling, Mark? I feel great to beat him. <laughs> how you feeling, Farron? I'm great, I'm ready to go. We have 50 pounds 
pound sandbag here. It's supposed to be 25, but we doubled it for you guys. Okay. We have 400 meter run and 25 air squats, five rounds for time. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. This is your time to shine for the Brits. Yes. Go ahead and mount the sandbags. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Farron has taken the lead. You guys can merge into the first lane if you need to. So the Bolger workout is named after Major General Michael Bolger, who lost his life during his time of service. It's a British paratrooper workout. We have a 400 meter run with a 50 pound sandbag today, and then 25 air squats. The goal is to not drop the sandbag. We have five rounds for time. Oh crap, what are you doing to me? Oh crap, oh. you're meant to be looking after me. No, you love me. Don't be serious now. 30 pounds is not 30. These workouts are compounding. We did the full Murph and we did a six mile ruck. These gentlemen are absolutely destroyed despite what they're saying. This is a tough one. Farron's taking the lead here. Mark's falling behind. Farron may be a little bit stronger with the sandbag and he may be experiencing a little bit of that British patriotism. Come on, Farron. Ah! This is your chance to redeem yourself. You're looking good, Farron. Whenever you get here at 25 air squads, Mark will do the same and you take off for your second round. Ah. One, count your reps every five. Come on, Mark, you're looking good. I know y'all's legs are very tired. A lot of leg work today. 300 squats have been done today so far. Man, I'm gonna get a hernia. How is the form, you guys? Let me know in the comments. 25. Farron's off. This could be the one for Farron. Mark's taking off. Ah. Second round. Farron has taken a pretty good lead over Mark. Farron is definitely accustomed to running with more weight. He rucks all the time. He set the world record for fastest 10K ruck with 120 pounds, which is absolutely crazy. 50 pound sandbag should be no problem for Farron. We have two events after this, so Farron could easily take this event and then the next event, and then they will be tied. It will be a tiebreaker at the very, very end of this video. This is exciting. Looking good, Farron, taking a big lead here. You can keep knocking out those squats quickly. You can take an even bigger lead. It's cooled down here in California, but it's getting a little bit chilly. We've run up from pretty much sun up to now almost sundown. Uh-oh. <sighs> Let him catch up on you, Farron. Mark can be taking a, a little bit of lead here over Farron. Farron, if you can keep up the speed. It's an upset. What is going on? Mark takes the lead. Maybe he was just playing around. Maybe he was just messing around. I don't know what's going to happen. You've done me. Ah. Don't you love me. You don't love me. Ah. Series of twists unfolding right before your eyes. Billy, get Judy Chopper now. Get down. I'm non-biased because I'm the host, so I can't root for either gentleman. But I will say Mark is looking really good right now. Farron has to do something incredible in order to come back. <laughs> is Mark gonna throw up? <sighs> this would be good content for the camera. <sighs> Here we go, Farron. Come on, this could be your chance to catch up. Keep rock knocking it out, knocking it out, knocking it out. The squats is where you guys can take a lead or take back your loss. Right now, Farron's a little lower than Mark. The depth difference here is pretty significant. 25, yeah, I just gotta break parallel. Mark's taking off for his fourth lap. Real squats, yeah. See these real ones, it's the hero one. Reps have gotta be good. 25, Farron takes off for his fourth lap. Never give up, I'm just doing my squats right. Half rep, so in reality, he's probably done about 50, not 100. You guys can hear Mark who will play his microphone. He's making some gagging noises. He may be on the verge of throwing up here. <sighs> <sighs> Throwing up, cramping, leg breaking. Could be a possibility why Mark won't take this event, but he's finishing his fourth round. He's in pain right now. He's giving it 120%. This is absolutely crazy. We've seen Mark dominate the Murph, destroy Farron on the Ruck, and now he's taking a huge lead over Farron on a British wide. How are you feeling? That explains it all. <laughs> Eight. Pushing through the pain. I've never seen anything like this. I do want to say this is notable. No gentleman today has dropped the sandbag yet. They can finish without dropping the sandbag. That's significant. Ah! 25. Mark heads off for his ah! last lap. Farron coming in to finish his fourth lap. Two. I will say Farron's depth is a lot more than Mark's. That's how we roll, baby. 25, all right, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it, gun it. Here comes Mark, finishing his fifth lap, and then he'll have 25 sandbag squats to finish out Bulger. Let's go, Mark! He was taking it easy the first two laps, so he had the confidence to come back, and he has done so, and he has created a huge lead over Farron. Mark, you're motivating a lot of people out there. Give it these last 25 reps, good reps. Then oh. you'll be done. There you go, one, two, three, 16. Finish out these last 10, 17, 22. Ah! 25, Mark, the American soldier, finishes Bulger. That rhymed. Dang, that's hard work. Mark just absolutely losing a lot of sweat out here. How do you feel? 
Farron comes in for his last 25. 16. 25. Farron finishes Volger 17, 38, a minute after Mark. Anything below 25 minutes is absolutely insane, and both these gentlemen crush this workout. Mark coming out on top, Farron coming in second. Great job, Mark. That's three events that you've taken so far. We're still gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna head into Max Burby's in 10 minutes. Am I still at a four of tiredness? I was gonna try to make it this whole time, and I'm gonna say this. You don't know me, son, and I promise you, I'm at a three now. You don't know me. How you feeling, Fair? I'm very tired after that, obviously, but we've got two more events, so still got a chance to redeem myself. Yep. Oh my goodness, my back is on fire. I'm literally hearing Alicia Keys saying, Yo! On fire! All right, gentlemen, event number four, Max Burpees in five minutes. Just when you thought these guys couldn't continue, we've done a full day of working out and we got Max Burpees in five minutes. We have counters on the side, making sure you guys don't cheat. I, I trust your integrity and I don't think you're a cheat, but just for keepsake. He's a cheater. You've seen his squats. Yeah, whatever. I've seen Three, your squats. Two, you one, go. Oh, Farron's quick. Don't gas out. Mark's quick. I guarantee they won't be able to hold this pace for five minutes. Come all the way up, all the way up, Farron. We're at 50 seconds so far. We have five minutes. Max Burpees is tough for five minutes, especially at this pace. How you feeling, Mark? I can't talk. Farron, how you feeling? Sexy. Sexy. What's the score? Yeah, what's the score? 25 for Mark, 25 for Farron. Oh. Neck and neck, keep it going, Farron. You got it, you're at minute 26. Why are you rooting for him? I'm rooting for Farron because he needs points on the board. Ah. Ah, come on, Mark, you got it. Keep that pace. You're almost at two minutes. We've completed the full Murph. We've done a six mile ruck. We've done double Bulger with 50 pounds. And now these gentlemen are rolling into burpees. This is in crazy, insane, and we are not done yet. 43, 51. Farron has been saving his engine. You have a minute and 20 seconds left, gentlemen. Don't quit now. It's your time to fight. It's your time to empty the tank. I want to see it all on the deck. Ah! Can Farron push 80? We have one minute remaining. We got 40 seconds left. Anything you want to say to Mark? Can he catch up to you? Keep going, bro. Mark, anything to say to Farron? Don't go, bro. You got 20 seconds left. Absolutely destroyed. Going into five minutes, max burpees. Time, 60 reps, 80 reps. Farron takes the lead for the Brits. You got a point on the scoreboard. Yeah. Very good job. Last year I did 500 burpees a day for 31 days, so I know I can get a lot of burpees in. Mark, how you feel? Substandard, that's, that's Substandard. terrible. That was not a good performance. For anybody rooting for you in the comments section, what do you have to tell them for letting them down? Sometimes humble pie tastes really good. My brother, thank you. Uh, they were kissing off cam, but we can't show that. You guys have been going all day. You got here at 7.30. It's 7.30 right now, it's 12 hours. It's dark outside, you're exhausted. How do you feel going to the rope climb? Rope climb's not my forte, like I've said the whole time, but I'll give it 100%. I know that Mark's gonna be a little bit deflated from his first loss, so I might be able to take him on the last one as well. I'm gonna actually crush Farron on the rope climbs. Why? Because I was a part of the 101st Airborne Division where all we did was do nothing but climb ropes. So be prepared to get crushed. I'm ready. For now, we're gonna roll into the rope climbs. Event number five. Event number five, I like to call this climber cry. That rhyme. You guys, we're gonna do max rope climbs in two minutes, but I've decided to change it. We're gonna climb the rope, each of you alternating until one of you quits. We're about to find out what you're made of. I'm made of flesh. You're made of flesh yeah. and bone and, and heart. And bone and heart. Mostly heart. And water. Just so you guys know out there, I'm not a rope climber. I am a brute strength athlete, so I'll just be using these guns. And just so you know, everyone out there, he's making excuses because I'm gonna beat him. Do you have a needle and thread with you? No, I need it. You know why? Because I'm ripped! Climb or cry. Farron's up first. Farron is not using his feet. He's gonna burn his biceps out. Every second you stay on that rope, it burns and it hurts. Touch the metal, done. Come on down. As soon as his feet touch the blue, you have five seconds. There we go. Mark is using his feet, locking his feet in, keeping his arms from burning out. He's a quick rope climber, touches the metal. Boom! In the 101st Airborne, they climb a lot of ropes. Here we go! Mount it. There we go. Come on, Farron. Lock those feet in. Lock those feet in. So this will be Farron's second rope climb. There we go. Climb, climb. Touch the metal. You're good. Come on down. Mark's looking very strong. He's looking fresh, actually. Look how fast he's climbing that rope. What an absolute unit! Farron's up for his third climb. Mount the rope, there we go. I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Farron gives up. Mark's gonna take Farron's rope climb. God, Lee, I'm gonna get hit in the face. I believe Mark's gonna take Farron's rope climb and then he's gonna do his own rope climb. Farron, why'd you decide to stop? I got two. That was more than I thought I'd get. I'm not a rope climber. Mark takes the W for the American soldiers. Great job today. Farron, thanks for coming out. Got one point on the scoreboard. Now it's time for you guys to hug. 
<laughs> Maybe Kiss. <laughs> oh, I think Farron's a beast. I think he's a friend for life. I think Farron is one of those guys who I would literally trust in a heartbeat, even with my own kids, because I know that his heart's in the right place. That man's got all the respect for me. It was a tough day in the office. I didn't leave nothing in the tank on anything. It was just that he was the better man on the day today. And that's it, y'all. Four for the Americans, one for the Brits. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if the workout doesn't scare you, it doesn't count. Mark, what are you doing? Yeah, money! Like, wait, baby! I gotta get it done. It's a wrap. See you guys in the next one.